Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG throbber. I've gone ahead and created a quick example here and I've dropped a throbber into our scene. We'll go over the unique parameters for the throbber which is the appearance section here. You basically can control the number of pieces. Let me go ahead and set this to size to content so we can see the changes. We have the option of 1 through 25 and that will determine the number of images that are shown during your progress. We'll go ahead and set this to 10. You have the animate horizontal, vertical, and opacity options. We will go through each of them in order. Animate horizontally will animate the bar, the images like they are flipping. Let's go ahead to see this better and put an image in that has a different texture. We'll put the Unreal Engine logo in here. Okay. As you can see, when the bar is turning, you can see the image normally and then reversed. So if you're going to use a image that is not symmetrical, you need to be aware of that. It will look backwards when it is animating horizontally. We have the animate vertical option. That is the same thing as horizontal, except it flips it vertically. And as you'll notice, it will also be upside down when it flips it on the back. Then we have animate opacity which basically throbs the bar from left to right, animating from a 0 to 1 in opacity. All three of them can be combined for a unique effect. If we go ahead and change our image size, this will determine the size of our image that is shown. So as you can see, we have a nice little Unreal Engine loading bar here. If you use something that's more uniform in size, like say a square, it will look a little bit better. You have your standard image options here for the size, tint, drawing as in tiling, and that's it. The throbber bar can be used as a loading screen. You can drop some text on top of it, change this to loading, for example, and now you can let your players know while you are loading maps that they are now loading into a new screen.